am back home in Orlando. I am back in my apartment and I am just so happy to be home. I had so much fun getting to be in Texas over the holidays. I was in Texas for about like two weeks. I had to go a little bit earlier than I would have because my brother graduated college, which is amazing. And I got to see him walk across the stage and then we had Christmas and then I decided to stay through New Year's. I just wanted to spend New Year's with my family. That just seemed like the vibe for me this year. But it was such a wonderful holiday and I'm so, so thankful for all the time I got to spend with my family. I am so excited to be home. When I got home yesterday, the first thing I did was hop in my car and I drove straight to Bath and Body Works. I actually went to Panera to get some food and then I went to Bath and Body Works. I went to Forever 21, I went to Joann's and I went to Target because I was just so excited to be like out and get to like drive around because in Texas I don't have a car and I did spend a little bit of money which I was doing so good in all the stores until I got to Target because Target has all of their Valentine's Day stuff out. And in case you couldn't tell, I, I'm in the Valentine's Day spirit. When I got home from running my errands, I immediately tore down my Christmas. And when I say tore down, I literally, I was just, I wanted it gone. And I still have a little bit over there, but for the most part, everything's gone. My apartment is kind of in shambles at the moment because it, it's a big old mess, but it is like really satisfying taking everything down. And then I'm slowly gonna be putting up my Valentine's Day stuff. I put up my little rainbow there. Guys, like I think I love Valentine's Day, which is crazy because I am so single. I don't have a Valentine. I've never had like a good romantic Valentine's Day. Like I feel like I should be, I'm the kind of person that should be like an anti Valentine's Day girl but I can't help it. I love love and I love Valentine's Day. So I thought it would be really fun to start out this vlog going to Home Goods and checking out their Valentine's Day decor. Target definitely had some good stuff and I can do a little haul of everything I got, but they didn't have like everything up, I don't think. And then I went to Joann's and they had nothing, like absolutely nothing. So I wanna go to Home Goods, check out their Valentine's Day section. I'm not looking for anything specific. I just really wanna look. And then I was thinking about if I'm feeling up for it, going to Michael's because the Michael's is a little bit far away. But I went to the Michael's back in Texas and they had a cute little Valentine's Day area. Oh, and they also had really cute um, like mats. What is it? Like front door mats, outdoor mats. The mat that you put in front of your front door. So that's how I want to start off today's vlog. And then I'm just going to take you guys along with me as I kind of like refresh and reset for 2024. I'll show you guys my apartment cleaning progress, my decorating progress. I have a nail appointment tomorrow to get them done. And we're also going to be preparing for Festival of the Arts, which is my favorite Epcot festival. And I'm so excited. I also ordered a new swig. Everybody has their Stanleys, right? I'm a swig girl. I just, I think they match my personality a little bit more. So this is my new one. It is hot pink and neon. And you know what this matches? That was a complete accident, like not intentional. It's safe to say I'm ready for 2024. So I am back empty handed, which honestly is probably a really good thing for my wallet, but they actually didn't really have any Valentine's Day stuff. Like I put my Invisalign in, so, <laughs> so I'm going to be self-conscious about how I talk, but one of my New Year's resolutions is to wear it more. So here we are. They had a few Valentine's Day stuff. They had a lot of like little heart banners. They had a ton of Valentine's Day towels, which is actually what I'm looking for, but I really didn't like any of those. I'm looking for something like super like quilted and handmade, kind of like the aesthetic of the sweater, which I love the sweater, by the way. I got it from Grey Bandit. I just bought it after Christmas as like a after Christmas gift to myself, I guess, because I feel like all of my winter clothes are are for Christmas so they're red and green and have Santa Mickey on them and I was like I have no winter clothes so I went and bought myself this sweater and one more and I love it I thought it was a really cute Valentine's Day sweater oh but I want a hand towel that's kind of this aesthetic like hand quilted maybe some pom-poms kind of feel so they didn't quite have that but that's okay so I do think we are gonna go to Michael's it is a bit of a drive which I'm kind of dreading but since we really really did not get anything in home goods I just 
I'm feeling a little low. I feel like we failed our little Valentine's Day mission. Now I know it's early. I am fully aware of that and that stores probably shouldn't have their Valentine's Day stuff out. But since Target, Target has had their Valentine's Day stuff or like some of it since like the middle of December. I remember seeing it a few weeks ago and I got so mad. I was like, what the heck? it's christmas time now i'm like okay where's my valentine's that's how i feel about holidays i hate when stores put out holiday merch in the middle of other holidays like during christmas i want christmas during halloween i want halloween during valentine's day i want valentine's day i refuse to buy anything for the other holiday in advance however the minute that holiday is over i'm okay if you put it out oh. I'll buy it. So anyways, let's go to Michael's and see if they have some stuff or at the very least um, a new little floor mat. Oh my gosh traffic was so crazy and i really don't like this area so i was like in and out but we got the little mat how cute to my back seat and they're called welcome mats i don't know how i forgot that and then i also went over to whole foods and picked up some dinner i just got like a little sushi roll they didn't have my favorite one which is the salmon brown rice quinoa so i just got something else um and then i got a little kombucha so i'm ready to go home and relax okay so i made it back home and i want to show you guys what i got from target yesterday because they just had the cutest stuff so one of the first things i got is this little valentine's necklace pack except i really only got it for the last one i just think it's so cute the little sweethearts and everything so cannot wait to wear that next from the little dollar section i got this self-love elixir i feel like this is the cutest little decoration to have up year round i think self-love reminders are always a good thing to have i got this little xo sign that i'm so excited to put somewhere maybe above my fridge i'm not quite sure i also got this dress i'm gonna have to try it on for you guys because i don't know how i feel about it it's coral which is my favorite color ever and has little hearts on it i love the dress i don't know if i love it on me so i'm gonna think about that one and then also i picked up some yarn and ribbon from joann's i got this mickey mouse rainbow ribbon that i love and can't wait to wear to festival of the arts and then i got this ribbon potentially to put on those little lamps and tie little bows i'm not sure if this is like the right kind of ribbon for that but i'm gonna see i also got this from the target dollar section it says spill the tea i think it is the cutest thing ever and since i got my smeg for christmas i want to set it up somewhere and i'm thinking i want to turn this into a little tea corner I'm not 100% sure, but wherever my tea corner is, I feel like that'll be perfect. And then the last thing I got also from the Target dollar section is this sign. I think it's so cute. It is so just me, your magic. I mean, I love it. I've had an outfit change and I'm touching up my hair. For some reason, this side curled really well, but this side did not curl. So I like sprayed it with a bunch of water. I have to find my hair oil. This is from Santa, bless his soul. So I'm going to put this in my hair because I'm about to go hang out with some girlfriends. I am so excited. One of my friends who I haven't seen in like a really long time invited me to a little movie night she's having. Oops, I think I added too much. And honestly, I have no idea what to wear because all of my clothes are dirty, whether it's stuff I wore before I left for Texas or my Texas clothes. But it's like, it's just a girls movie night. Like I don't need to look crazy good or anything, but I still like to look cute, like just for myself. Gotta switch the bow to match the outfit. I don't think I like the way blue looks on me. I just, I don't know. I don't think it's a complimentary color. I think I look better in like oranges and reds, but the only red sweater I have reminds me of Christmas and we're moving on. Let me show you my outfit. Don't mind my incredibly dirty floor, okay? I just got home. Um, but I think I'm just gonna wear like leggings, Uggs, and this. And then I also want to show you guys this necklace. I keep wearing it, but I forgot to mention my mom got it for me for Christmas, and I love it. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous, honestly, because this is my first time like hanging out with friends since I've been home. And I feel like every time I come home from Texas, 
I'm like super rusty with my social skills because when I'm in Texas, I'm around mainly adults, like my parents and adults their age, or like my siblings. I'm rarely around people my age, but I'm really excited and I'm really thankful because this is one of the things I've really been praying about is just finding like good girlfriends. I know one of the girls, but I don't really know the other two. So that's where I'm like a little bit nervous because I always get nervous meeting people, especially because like they're they're all friends and I'm not and I feel like I'm so bad at being that friend like some people are so good at coming into a group and just killing it I'm horrible so wish me luck guys I hope it goes well and I hope we just have a fun little girls night in Hey guys, so it is the next day and I just got my nails done. They look so freaking good. So I did little rainbows with the Mickeys. These are for a festival of the arts. I think they turned out so good. I did these last year and I think they were my favorite nail design I've ever done, even more than my Halloween nails. So I felt like I had to do them again this year, but I changed the accent colors. And so last year I did like two different shades of pink and I had more pink in the rainbow. Wow, the sun is really coming out. So sorry about that. But this year I decided to do the accent colors purple and orange for figment. So these are not figment nails, but definitely I wanted some little elements of figment in there because Festival of the Arts is like his festival. By the way, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Epcot and Walt Disney World does little festivals throughout the year to match the seasons. And so in the beginning of the year from January 12th to February, third week of February-ish, Epcot does their International Festival of the Arts, where the theme of the festival is like art obviously painting rainbows i associate the festival with pastel rainbow hence like the nails but the main icon of the festival is figment and so a lot of times people will dress up as figment do like disney bounds that kind of thing and i'm probably not going to do like a figment disney bound question mark oh this is the festival where the iconic figment popcorn bucket became like super popular and people waited like all day for this little popcorn bucket like this is that festival so i wanted to do a little bit of figment in my outfit but i'm not gonna do like a full-on figment bound so anyways love the nails they turned out so good then after i got my nails done i went and got some coffee got some breakfast i was so tired because i ended up getting home at 2 a.m last night from my little movie night i did not think i was gonna stay there that long granted she lives like 30 minutes away that was why i got home kind of late too but the movie night ended up being so fun we watched salt burn and none of us knew like what it was about or what to expect we decided to watch it and we were all so scared because I didn't know what it was about but I did hear that it was just like weird like there was something weird about it and so we kind of thought the scenes were gonna be super like grotesque or like hard to watch or something and for the most part it wasn't there were a few scenes that were kind of like we maybe skipped through them but I thought the movie was so good like I actually really loved the movie and I predicted the ending like I knew exactly what was gonna happen I'm not gonna spoil it but like I knew it I was pretty proud of myself because I normally can't predict endings of movies like that but the movie night ended up being super duper fun and I'm so glad I went despite getting home so late and then I had to get up so early for my nail appointment so I am so exhausted I got a big little cold brew that I'm still sipping on but I really feel it kicking in now like I I am I am ready to go I have my energy so we are gonna go to Disney Springs I have been dying to go there because a lot of the stores there I think are having their like end of year Christmas sale so I want to pop into anthropology see if they have anything especially for the home I'd love to get like a mug and then I want to check out their jewelry because there's this one necklace that I've been really wanting I highly doubt they're gonna have it honestly because since everything is on sale they honestly might not even have anything in their store I just want to look and then I of course want to go to to world of Disney I want to check out the clothes I want to check out the new merch for the year just just do a little browse just just see if we need to pick up anything oh there's a new coffee shop in Disney Springs not that I need another coffee because I'm pretty caffeinated at the moment but I really did want to try this new coffee shop I'll tell you guys about that later when we get there and then I also thought maybe we could watch the sunset at Springs or we could pop on over to Saratoga fingers crossed the crowds aren't too bad though because it is marathon weekend and it's a Friday so 
this very well could be a nightmare and I might just want to go home. So we'll see, we'll see, but at the very least, I do want to do Anthropology World of Disney and my friend is working in Lulu, so I want to go see her. And I need to go to Sephora and get some self-tanning drops for my face because I'm looking very pale. So we have a lot on our to-do list today, so let's get going. Springs and it is so beautiful here. I've just been walking around on the hunt for a pink building to match my outfit and I think I found one. The ones behind me are like kind of pink and teal but the color scheme is so beautiful here. Now there is this huge fountain behind me so the audio might not be the best but I got a cookie from Summer House. So this is called the pinky. I definitely got it because it matched my outfit but also it looks really good so let's try it. This looks so good. This cookie is so good. I was not expecting the icing to be so like soft, I guess. And the inside of the cookie is so soft too. It almost tastes like a crumble cookie, which I love crumble. A lot of people I feel like don't like crumble, but I love crumble. Mm, this is amazing. So it's basically just like a sugar cookie and then the icing is strawberry flavor. I also got their French vanilla latte and it's pretty good. It tastes just like like if I went to a local coffee shop and got a vanilla latte, which is a great thing. Like Disney coffee has its own flavor profile, I would say, which doesn't mean it's bad. I just think like Disney coffee is different than like a local coffee shop coffee and this tastes like that, which I sometimes prefer. Anyways, this is amazing. I love Summer House. I hope to actually eat there one day. I think I might be going back there with some friends, maybe, but it looked so beautiful, especially if you can sit outside and overlook the lake and Disney Springs. I mean, I I feel like that's gonna be like the place of the summer or like springtime. I ended up getting a few things from Sephora, but that's it. I didn't buy anything else because it is very crowded today. So I was like going quickly in and out of these stores looking and like I saw a few cute things like the Minnie Mouse pillow I think is so cute, but I don't know if I'm ready to buy it yet because I feel like there's gonna be so many Valentine's Day pillows that I want. So I don't want to buy anything just yet. So I'm over in Saratoga Springs. I did walk all the way here. I like, I'm getting my steps in today. I'm probably gonna have 10,000 steps just from Disney Springs. So I think I'm just gonna chill here and watch the sunset because it is so beautiful and eat my cookie. stopped by my mailbox to pick up my Amazon package and the craziest thing happened. Well, it wasn't that crazy, but like definitely like glitch in the matrix type crazy. So as I was walking in, this girl was walking out. So I was like kind of smiling at her and as I'm looking at her, this girl is brunette, my height, kind of looks like me. Not like close up, but like from far away. And she was wearing a light pink sweater and a white headband. Like we were literally the same person. I don't know who she is. I don't know what her name is. Side note, my SD card for my GoPro came in. It means I get to finally try out my GoPro. Anyways, I found my doppelganger. I thought that was so crazy. I forget what show it is. I think it's how I met your mother. They have this rule of like, once they find all the doppelgangers of the friends and something happens, I feel like I'm living that right now because when I was in Texas and we were going to church on Christmas Eve, there was this guy as like we were about to park. This guy looked exactly like my brother. It was freaky. I don't know what's gonna happen when I find my whole family, but 
That's crazy. Anyways, I do have a little bit of a haul for you guys from Disney Springs. And then I'll also show you guys what I got from Amazon. So this is my little SD card I got for my GoPro. Then I'll show you guys what's in here. I have a brand deal I'm supposed to film. It's a little coffee syrup and rose petals because I was going to make this like coffee. And I got yellow glitter straws. And then next is my dinner. <laughs> I decided to go into Saratoga Springs. By the way, Saratoga Springs is so large. Like I truly felt like I was in a maze. With most resorts, I can very easily figure out like where I am, where the lobby is, etc. Saratoga Springs, I was just wandering around. But it was good because I got my steps in today. Do you wanna know how many steps I got? 11,515. Hot girl walk, check. And so then after the sunset, I went inside the building and I got their ham and Swiss panini or something. So I saved this, I'm gonna put it in my fridge. But as I was in Saratoga Springs, they had a little gift shop and I found something. I think this is just one of the new like Disney 2024 collections, but I haven't seen it. So I got this little zip up hoodie because I've been wanting a new zip up hoodie, a Disney one specifically, because the one I have from last year the 2023 one it's so cute i feel weird wearing stuff that says like 2023 when it's not 2023 like i'm still gonna wear it but i just wanted a more like neutral one so the front has this little mini with a mickey balloon but i mainly got it for the back and it just has this cute little design what does it say play play in the park i don't really get that but like go off I guess because I also had a t-shirt in like pretty much the same design but the t-shirt was yellow and it was a lot more colorful and I really liked the t-shirt but I just feel like I have a million t-shirts I really didn't need another one and it's gonna be cold for the next few months so I'm gonna get more use out of this so I'm gonna try this on in a little bit and then last but not least I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora I got the self tanning drops that I really wanted and then I also got the first aid beauty hydration cream something i've heard a lot of people really rave about this but i feel like since it's winter i need a little bit of a heavier moisturizer so that's my little haul i also got another package because i had to ship some of my christmas gifts from texas to here just because they would not fit in my suitcase and one of them was my smeg so i think i'm gonna get out my little smeg which is my little tea kettle thing and try it out i think that'll be so fun on a 0.5 lens. I've always wanted a bigger lens so you can see more of me because I feel like with my lens now, you can't always like see everything, but like, oh, this is so cool. I feel like I'm in a music video. Also, there's a viewfinder like in the front so I can see what I'm filming. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in music lead. This is so cool. Okay, ready? Here's my kitchen. Like, do you see how it's warped? hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm curious what the quality is like oh my gosh i can take photos too oh let's take a selfie ready this reminds me of when i got my nintendo dsi for the first time when it had a camera and i just like like i think i got it on christmas and so all christmas morning i was just taking the most random photos using the filters this is this is giving little kid on christmas <laughs> These photos are so funny, <laughs> like, okay, they're, they're actually not that funny. See, it looks like a 0.5, that's so cool. Anyways, oh, I thought this photo was so cute. Me and my little lamps with the bows on them, kind of looks like a Mickey. <laughs> Anyways, this smeg is so cute. I finally figured out how to work it. So I love it and I just think it looks so cute in my kitchen. And then also I moved this heart here. It's so Valentine's Day in here. I feel like I spend all year looking forward to Christmas 
and like Christmas is just like peak happiness, peak life. It's really not, but like I always think it's going to be. And then after Christmas, I always get really sad and really depressed because I'm like, oh, well, gotta wait another 12 months to be happy again, which is obviously not true. And I feel like that's why I'm so excited to be back here in Orlando because I'm just ready for life to begin again and just like go through everything again. And something I really wanted to do this year was prioritize celebrating each season. I do feel like all of my life, I've always been waiting for the next season. If it's fall, I'm super excited for Christmas. Once Christmas is over, like I'm super excited for summer and I'm always looking forward to the next thing, which isn't necessarily bad, but I've realized like every season is actually so sweet. And if you take the time to like, really embrace each season and fully immerse yourself. It doesn't have to look like what I'm doing. I feel like life should be like lived in the moment, enjoying the day you're in, the season you're in, versus always waiting for the next season. And that is honestly a really great metaphor for like life. Uh, for example, like me being single, I think I've actually done a really good job of like accepting my single season and not waiting for that next season, which would be relationship, marriage, etc. But I think that's why I think I've embraced my single season, so I'm making the most out of it. I have a freaking pink apartment. I probably probably wouldn't have this if I had a husband. Maybe. If I wanted it, I hope he would be okay with it, but I don't think I would want it if I lived with a boy. I do think I would definitely have pink somewhere, but it would be toned down. So I feel like I'm really getting it out of my system. I was gonna say food for thought, but just some tea for thought. Does that, does that work? I really wanna try this year to embrace every single season, whether it's literally the season, so winter, Valentine's Day, spring, etc or it's metaphorically the seasons, different friendship seasons, career seasons, relationship seasons, etc. I saw a TikTok that was like, <laughs> and it was one of the ones that's like, there's no hashtag, so if this found you, this is for you. And they were like, you're in your butterfly era. And I love that because I love butterflies, but I love the idea that like to be in your butterfly era, you have to have gone through your chrysalis era or your cocoon era. And that could mean a bunch of different things for like different people, but like that's the era where you work really, really hard. And then your butterfly era is where all that hard work pays off and you have the wings to fly. Well, I'm hoping to have a butterfly era at some point in my life and I'm wondering if it's this year. And since the TikTok said so, obviously it, that must be true. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little 2024 reset, just kind of like getting back into the groove and prematurely setting up for Valentine's Day. I know it's so early, okay, but Hopefully now you understand why. If you guys wanna see what Disney World looks like in 2024, if you wanna come along with me to Festival of the Arts at Epcot, if you wanna see how I keep up with my apartment or anything else, feel free to subscribe down below. I'm so excited to take you guys along all of my adventures this year. I'm praying it's a good year for all of you guys and it's the year that all of your hopes and dreams come true and maybe you guys are in your butterfly era too and we can all fly and soar together. But if you're in your cocoon era, that's also awesome too. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Happy New Year, happy 2024, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!